Today we're here with Mint Tiny Homes in one of three homes that were custom built for the Kittisu First Nations community of Clem 2 BC. But this is not your average tiny home. There's a few things that set this home apart that I wanna go over before we get into the walkthrough of this home. This home was upgraded to an Arctic series heat pump that will operate efficiently well below freezing temperatures. There was also a backup propane furnace installed in this unit that can operate without an external power supply ensuring the home stays warm this home includes dual pane windows and spray foam insulation in the walls, ceiling and floor to ensure maximum heating and cooling efficiencies. And the exterior was upgraded to a metal siding to minimize maintenance. On the home's chassis is a complete metal skin underside to protect the subfloor system and an ice shield continuous waterproof membrane was installed below the metal roofing to ensure no moisture penetrates the roof system. Now, when you enter the home through the door to my left, you get a straight view right down the middle of the tiny home here. Now this tiny home is 34 feet long, eight and a half feet wide, and 13 and a half feet tall. And very quickly you'll realize this is one of the most popular floor plans because of the two lofts and the main floor bedroom. This home is also optioned with bright and airy colors, which definitely help make this space feel bright and open. Now once you take your first steps into the home, you'll find the living room. And in here, you get this nice comfy couch. They've got a nice big window behind me here. Above me here, you'll see a floating shelf, which you can use to customize your space to your liking. And to my left here, you actually do get a little bit of storage space underneath the steps. Up on the wall above the master bedroom door, you'll see the Arctic series mini split heating and cooling system that I previously spoke about. And in front of me, further to the right, you'll find seating for two. Now this may not seem like a ton of space, but it's really all you need. And in a home that's eight and a half feet wide, you can't really bring out counter space too far, otherwise you're gonna be sacrificing either your walking space or your living room. Once you're past the living and dining room, you enter the kitchen. And I have to say, this is probably the most impressive space in this home, and there's a few reasons why. Number one is the storage space in the kitchen. So you can see here, you have cabinets that start from this end of the counter all the way to this end over here. And on this side, you actually get exposed shelving right next to the microwave and down below right next to the oven. In addition to that cabinet space above me here, you do get lower cabinets as well and drawers that slide out. And then on the opposite side of this counter next to the fridge over here, you do get a pantry space that actually goes all the way back to the wall. So you do have lots and lots of space in here to store your food. A couple more things that really set this kitchen apart are the appliances. In front of me here is a massive residential fridge. Beneath it, it has a little drawer that pops out where you can store things. And what that does is it actually pops the fridge up a little bit. And I like that. The reason for that is when you open up the fridge portion, everything is at almost eye level height here. So it's really easy to put things in and take them back out. And because it's a bottom freezer, sometimes these freezers are a little bit uncomfortable to be putting things in and out of. But because it's popped up, you no longer have to bend all the way over to grab things out of the freezer. It's up at a better height and it's way more comfortable to use that way. The other two kitchen appliances are the oven and the microwave. So the oven, once again, is a residential size. It's fully electric, so you have a four burner cooktop and the oven is just about the same size that you would find in any regular home. The microwave that's above the stovetop, once again, is a residential size. And across from the oven, you probably noticed the stacking laundry. And it's a size where if you did have four to six people living in this home, you could actually fit that amount of clothing to do a proper wash cycle. Once you're past the kitchen space, we arrive at the back of the home, which is the bathroom. And this space closes off with a pocket door. So they've managed to fit a residential style toilet just to my left here. And to my right, you actually get a little storage closet with exposed shelving and then a little folding table here. Below the tabletop, this isn't actually storage space. This is where you're gonna find your hot water heater. Then moving forward and to my right, you'll see a nice big glass enclosed shower that does have a bench in there as well. And then finally in my opposite corner is the vanity. You got a mirror there and then a bit of storage below it as well. Now that we're back outside of the bathroom, I'm sure you've noticed this bar above me here and I'm willing to bet you know what that's for. So the first loft is accessible by this ladder, which is nicely mounted against the cabinets over here. And this, of course, will just hang on that bar so that you can simply walk up to the loft. So in this loft, it's not closed off, so you do have a clear view down to the rest of the home. On either side of this loft, you do get windows that open, which is great if you want to cross breeze through this area. In terms of the floor space up here, you could likely put in a queen size bed and then have a little bit of space left over on either side for storage or decorative items like you see here. 
And as you can see, I am seated on a mattress here, sitting upright, and I still have a couple inches of headroom above my head here. Now back at the front of the home, right in front of the entrance, you actually get the staircase to the second loft. And what's nice about the staircase is that, number one, it's more accessible. Number two, usually there's two or three steps up to this loft that actually have storage underneath them. So in this home's case, the first two steps here have some storage space underneath. And as I walk all the way up here, the third step from the top also has storage space underneath. So good use of space. Let's check out this loft. All right, so in the second loft space, you do get a little bit more privacy here. And that's thanks to the storage cabinet that's across from the bed in front of me. Once again, on either side of the bed here, you do get a window. Both will open, same as that first loft. In here, you definitely have a little bit more floor space. As you can see, this is a bigger bed. You can easily fit a queen size bed in here. You do get some space on either side. And one thing I didn't mention in that first loft is if you decided you wanted shelving maybe above the bed or on the wall beside, you can actually mount things to the wall itself. It's a structural part of the home. So if you see the need for extra shelving so you can store items, you can actually do that. Overall, this is definitely my favorite of the two lofts. You get a little bit more privacy and it's way easier to access this one. The main floor bedroom is easily one of the best places to be in this tiny home. In here you have a queen size bed and on either side of the bed you have a little nightstand that has a cabinet below it and you have an upper cabinet above it. Similar to what I talked about in the loft earlier, you can mount additional shelving or cabinet space above the bed here if you wanted to. Once again, on either side of the bed, you get those two large windows. And in front of me here on the opposite wall, you actually get a bunch of custom storage that Mint built into this home. If you or anybody you know is looking to build or buy one of these homes, I've left all the information down below in the description. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments what your favorite part of this home was. If you haven't already, we hope you consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.